Welcome to our guide on cleaning endoscopes for veterinary practices. Proper cleaning keeps your patients safe and ensures your endoscopes last longer. It's important to clean the endoscope before disinfecting or sterilizing. We'll take you through the cleaning process step by step. An endoscope is a medical device designed to examine the interior surfaces of hollow organs or cavities in the body. It allows veterinarians to visualize, diagnose, and sometimes treat conditions inside the body without large incisions. Despite the wide array of models available, most endoscopes share common features. Let's review the main parts of the endoscope. The insertion tube is the long, flexible, or rigid tube you insert into the body. It houses various lines and components. It allows the endoscope to navigate through body cavities and reach the area of interest. The insertion tube contains the following channels. The air water channel delivers air and water to the tip of the endoscope. It cleans the lens and inflates the area under examination for better visibility. The suction channel connects to an outside suction pump. It removes fluids or debris from the examination site. The biopsy instrument channel enables the use of biopsy forceps, graspers, scissors, and other tools for diagnostic and therapeutic procedures. The distal tip at the end of the insertion tube houses the camera lens, light, and openings for the various channels. The control handle held by the operator stays outside the body. It has knobs for maneuvering the insertion tube, working the camera, and managing other functions like air water insufflation and suction. The water-resistant cap protects the endoscope from water penetration during cleaning. The valve on the cap is used for leak testing before endoscope cleaning. The umbilical or universal cord on an endoscope refers to the flexible cable that connects it to its external equipment. The umbilical cord ensures that all necessary functionalities, such as illumination, visualization, insufflation, and suction, are available during the endoscopic procedure. Before and after every endoscope procedure, it's crucial to leak test your endoscope to prevent fluid invasion and damage. Make sure the water-resistant cap is securely attached to the scope to protect the internal electronic components from damage. Next, connect the leak tester to the ETO valve and pump it up to between 180 and 200 PSI. Watch the pressure needle for one to two minutes. If the pressure drops, that indicates a leak. If you discover a slow leak, you can find the leak by immersing the endoscope in fluid and looking for the bubbles. Note the leak location, depressurize the scope, clean the outside of the endoscope and send it to the manufacturer for disassembly and repair. After a procedure, immediately clean the endoscope of gastric juices, mucus, bile, and other debris. This helps prevent dried on soils, biofilm buildup, and potential future patient infections. A multi-enzyme detergent like Spec Clean Quadruple Enzymatic Instrument Detergent has four powerful enzymes including protease, amylase, lipase, and cellulase to tackle many endoscopic soils. Spec Clean provides powerful cleaning and ensures the preservation of your endoscope. Its non-corrosive, neutral pH formula is compatible with a wide range of materials. Here's the detailed cleaning process. Wear goggles and gloves for safety. Use a large sink or tub to allow enough space for the tubes to gently curve without kinking. Mix an enzymatic cleaning fluid, like the Spec Clean Quadruple Enzymatic Instrument Detergent, with distilled water per the manufacturer's recommendation. Typically, a good enzymatic cleaner like Spec Clean has a half ounce to one ounce per gallon of distilled water dilution ratio for very economical cleaning. Ensure the water-resistant cap on the endoscope is secure to prevent fluid from damaging the sensitive electronic parts inside. Place the endoscope in the sink or tub until it is completely immersed. Remove the air water port and suction port buttons and drop them into the detergent solution. Open the biopsy instrument port. Use an endoscope sponge to wipe clean the outside and end tips of the endoscope. Some endoscope models come with cleaning adapters. However, most endoscopes can be manually cleaned using basic tools, including a cleaning sponge, an endoscope brush, a 60cc syringe, and a lint-free cloth. Step 1. Suction up the enzymatic cleaning fluid into the syringe and push it through the biopsy instrument port until the fluid comes out of the distal tip. Repeat one to two times. Step 2. 
Repeat the process by pushing cleaning fluid through the suction port. The endoscope channels are now filled with cleaning solution. Step 3. Use a long cleaning brush to remove debris from the biopsy instrument channel inside the insertion tube. Push the brush through the biopsy instrument port until you see it appear at the distal tip. Gently pull it back out and repeat as needed. Cleaning the umbilical or universal cord. Step 1. Using a syringe with tubing attached to the Christmas tree connector, flush the umbilical cord until the cleaning fluid comes out of the suction port. Repeat one to two times. Step 2. Rinse the brush in the cleaning fluid and then push it down the umbilical cord until it comes out through the Christmas tree connector. Gently pull back on the brush and repeat as needed. Step 3. Let the endoscope soak in the enzymatic cleaning fluid for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. Do not over-soak, which can damage the endoscope components. Rinsing the endoscope. Step 1. Replace the enzymatic fluid in your tub or sink with distilled water. Step 2. Rinse your brushes and syringes in the distilled water. Step 3. Flush and brush the endoscope thoroughly with clean brushes and syringes. Repeat one to two times. Step 4. Use a clean gauze sponge to wipe the exterior of the endoscope. Drying the endoscope. Using a clean dry syringe, push air through all the channels to dry them. Hang the endoscope or wipe it with a lint-free towel until completely dry. Reinstall the air water and suction buttons. Place the clean dry endoscope inside its protective case to protect it from damage or hang the clean endoscope in a designated clean and safe area. Disinfecting the endoscope. If high-level disinfecting the endoscope, use a high-level disinfectant and the same cleaning process except for the brushing. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for soaking time. Do not let the disinfectant sit longer than the recommended time since it could damage the endoscope components. Remember, never steam autoclave the endoscope as it can cause damage. Use these cleaning steps to keep your endoscopes in excellent condition, ready for the next patient and procedure. Proper endoscope cleaning and maintenance are vital for the safety of your patients and the longevity of your equipment.